beautiful day along the Jurassic Coast. Here at the beginning of August, I'm picking up a small backbone of an ichthyosaurus, then going on to find a small ammonite preserved in the fool's gold iron pyrites as I walk down along the beach from Lyme Regis towards Charmouth. I'm going to meet up with Mike Harrison today along the beach and see what he's splitting out of the right rocks, these perfectly little preserved ammonites in calcite. We'll go and see what he's found in a minute. Beautiful day on the Jurassic coast. Just east of Lyme Regis I am looking for fossils. And here I've got, walking out along the beach already, a piece of carboniferous coral from 345 million years ago. Shouldn't be here, it's derived, put down in the sea defence work. I'm joining at Mike Harrison's fossils down along the coast and he's already found what seems to be really quite nice piece of the uh, limestone rock layered with little ammonites in from the Jurassic age. You see the small ammonites protruding out of the edge. He's now going to dig that one out of the beach area. Take a bit of uh, scrabbling around to get that one out using a nice hickory handled hammer to do the work on the beach, finding the fossils. And a hickory handled hammer is good when you're breaking the right rocks. Oh, that's good. He's popped that right out of the beach area, ready for a bit of splitting. You'll hear a sharp ring of the hammer as he clips through that rock. We call these particular limestone nodules yellow stones. And they split like slate, but also too, you need to try and get into the right layer as you split them open. That's the middle layer. Now he needs to pick the right side of the stone to find the real good calcite ammonites in from the Jurassic age. These ammonites are preserved beautifully in white and green calcite. It's a lovely day on the Jurassic coast to do this fossil hunting. Normally Mike's out in all sorts of inclement weather finding the fossils and uh, preparing them and literally saving them from the destruction of the sea. The sea does the work for you, washing them out of the mudslides. But in this instance, this rock at the moment is not providing. Hopefully, as he gets down further through the rock, we'll get one of the nice ones preserved in calcite. Oh, that's a lovely little ammonite there called Promicrocerus. It's really skillful work protruding out of the rock. We initially saw those ammonites. Now he has to wade through the limestone layers to find more of the fossils from the Jurassic Age. 190 million year old ammonites splitting out of these layered rocks here on this coast. You can hear the split being induced into that rock. Really good split. Another lovely ammonite there from the Jurassic, found by at Mike Harrison's fossils. Collecting out here, you got the impression one side, the whole ammonite the other side, preserved in calcite. That's the first time they've seen the light of day in all those 190 million years, those beautifully preserved fossil ammonite specimens, sea creatures from the ancient marine seas. Now he's paring down the rock, clipping through that layered limestone material. He's got another one there. It's quite a nice little plate there. really pays to be confident and his skills now that he's using to clip out the ammonites with should get at least five or six of these well-preserved fossils the 
see would otherwise destroy these quite rapidly in the grand scheme of things. Snip. Yeah, well done. With the tide coming in along the Jurassic Coast, Mike Harrison is heading back towards Charmau, looking along the coast, looking for any little ammonites that he may find. Reserved in iron pyrites, the best tools are your eyes. It keeps away from the dangerous cliffs and looks at low tide for the fossil finds washed out by the sea's actions. <laughs> 